everyone, this is Veronica with So It Seems, and welcome back to my studio. Today in the Dear Jane Quilt book, we are going to be working on block K13, also called Brandon Star. When we take a look at this block, it is relatively simple. In the very center of it, we have a nine patch. We have five blocks out of the background fabric, and our foundation fabric are the four squares. And then the four corners is from the foundation fabric. And then the sides, which create the stars, are also of the foundation fabric with the star points being out of the background fabric. Now, one thing with this block is there is a difference between Jane's original block and the one that Brenda Papadakis has drafted. Brenda's block is an easier one to create with the half square triangles making all of these sections. But if you want to make it more authentic like Jane's, we're going to make a flying geese. And flying geese really aren't that hard. So let me show you the fabric that I'm choosing for today. For my main focus fabric, I've chosen this pink fabric with some cats on that. With these little cats, I'm going to try to cut my squares so that I have a different little cat in each corner. And then my background fabric is my muslin. We're going to start making this block by working on that very center nine patch. Cut out five of your foundation fabric squares all at one and a quarter inches and also at one and a quarter inches cut out four of your foundation fabric and then we're going to lay out these squares in the nine patch pattern so you'll have your background fabric in the corners and in the center and then we'll lay out our foundation fabric in the blank spots Now you're ready to sew these together. So just start sewing them together at a quarter of an inch seam allowance in rows, and then you can sew the rows together. When you get your center squares all sewn together, this nine patch unit will measure to be about two and three quarters of an inch square. We're now going to make the flying geese units that go around on each of the sides of this block. For the center of your flying geese, you're going to cut your foundation fabric at one and five eighths by two and three quarters of an inch. Then you will take two squares cut out of your background fabric, and both of those squares are cut at one and five eighths. On the back of each of these squares, you will draw a diagonal line and then you'll place your square right sides together on top of the flying geese. So you'll line it up on the edge of the rectangle and you'll sew across this diagonal line that you drew. You'll do one and then you'll press it open and then you'll sew the second one across. So let's go ahead and get those sewn on. I find that sometimes when I'm making flying geese, my squares can get a little cockeyed once I sew them on um, because you're going to want to trim away this part. Before I trim away, I actually will leave that other, the back side of the fabric intact. And when I bring my fabric over, I just really make sure that I line up the edges of this. That helps to ensure that my, my rectangle doesn't get kind of skewed. So now I've given it a good press. It lines up really nicely. It's nice and straight. Now I can trim away the excess of these two pieces here, leaving that quarter of an inch seam allowance. 
So now I'm going to get my other square and I'm going to sew this line. And here we have the finished flying geese. You're going to need four of these. So for each flying geese, you'll need one of the rectangles for the foundation fabric and two squares of the background fabric. So go ahead and make all four of those and then we'll meet you back. I finished the flying geese and I've laid them around the block in the direction that they should be pointing. So you'll want the focus fabric on the outside, the main part of your flying geese, pointing out toward the edge of the block and your background fabric making these little star points all around. So now the last thing that we need to do is cut four little squares out of your foundation fabric at one and five eighths inch and they are just going to be in these corners. So I have four of these. We lay them around and they're ready to be stitched in. So for stitching here, uh, you can go either way, but you can sew rows together like this and then sew the three together into a big square or you can work your way down sewing rows like that. I'm going to go ahead and sew all of these together to finish this block. I have strips sewn of the three units and before I sew these last three together I'm just reminding you that I have my seams pressed in opposite directions for these. So with these seams I press them out, with these seams I press them in, and these seams I press them out. So then that way it'll be easier to line those up and butt these together. So now let's sew these last two seams. And this is the completed block. I got everything sewn on and gave it a really good press. And I barely had to trim anything. It was just mostly to clean up the edges of the block. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this walkthrough of making this block. It's a cute little star block and really wasn't that difficult to make. Once again, this block was K13, also called Brandon Star. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below, or you can send me an email at soitseemscreations at outlook.com. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell, and you'll be notified each time I upload a video, which is every Monday. This is Veronica Johnson with So It Seems, and I'll see you next time.